Hi everyone, welcome to Fitness Zone. My name's Gemma and you can find out more about me on my, um, my website, gemmasyogaspace.com. Um, today we're going to be doing a little bit of lower back releasing. Um, you'll need a few cushions and uh, we're going to do most of this lying on the floor. So once you have your cushions and you have a couple each side, you might use one or two, you might use all four. Um, we're going to start lying on the back. I'm just going to get my hoodie comfortable so it's not digging in my back. And then we'll start with both knees bent, feet on the floor. And at this stage, I'm just going to gently begin to rock my pelvis backwards and forwards. Yeah, so I'm pressing my lower back into the floor using my feet. And then letting my lower back lift a little bit away from the floor. I'm just alternating between those two positions. And then instead of rocking backwards and forwards now, we're going to rock from side to side. Okay, so rocking to the left and to the right. If you have any sort of tightness in the tops of the glutes, uh, you might begin to feel this tightness as you go from side to side as each muscle just gently compresses into the floor underneath you. Effectively we're using the floor as a bit of a massage tool to help release those muscles in the glutes and the lower back. And then I'm going to let my pelvis come back to centre. I'm going to bring my hands around the back of my knee uh, or in front of the knee. And we're going to pull the knee in nice and close. It's up to you whether you keep this other leg bent or you let it straighten away. I'm going to replace both feet back down to the floor. And then I'm going to swap sides. One knee in. Maybe straightening the other leg away. And then replacing both feet on the floor once again. I'm now going to take one ankle on top of the thigh and I'm going to gently press that leg away. So I'm trying to kind of get a little bit of stretch here in the in the groin area, the inner thigh area. You can be still, you can have a little bit of a rock from side to side when you do this as well. And then now lifting the left foot off the floor, let's take the hands in between the legs and once again, hold behind the back of the knee. Okay, holding behind the back of the left knee or around the front of the knee. We're targeting this uh, right hip and glute here. Bring both feet back down to the floor to swap sides. The ankle on top of the thigh, hand pressing the thigh away. And then picking that foot up off the floor, okay, hands behind the thigh or around the knee. And then when we release both feet back down to the floor, we're now going to take our cushions underneath the backs of the knees. So coming up to sit, I'm going to take two cushions, one on top of one uh, another, underneath the back of my knee. I'm going to do that on both sides. Have the legs a comfortable distance apart, not really close together. Just make sure that you can relax the legs, the legs completely and that they won't fall off of the cushions. When you lie onto the back, maybe lean on the elbows and tuck your lower back nice and long and then lying down on the floor. We'll get ourselves comfortable for a few minutes of breath work. 
And so the body is settled and the eyes are closed. Breathing in and out through the nose. Let's breathe in for a count of four. And breathe out for a count of four. Repeat that a few more times. In through the nose for a count of four. And out for a count of four. I encourage you to stay here a little bit longer, maybe a couple of minutes or maybe even longer still if you have time. My name is Gemma, thank you for joining me on Fitness Zone and see you again soon. Take care.